In this 4-minute videos for developers, we're going to see how to validate an incoming JSON payload, whether it's a valid JSON or not. We're going to do that using message validation policy. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apache Edge account, you can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apache API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4-minute videos. Let's see how it works. Let's say you have an Apache Edge sitting in between the client and backend server and you have created an API proxy in Apache Edge. And whenever a request uh, comes to Apache Edge, and if the request contains the JSON payload, and if JSON is not well formed, then you would like to raise an exception and return the response back to the client without even hitting the backend server. You want to filter the bad payloads in Apache Edge before reaching the same payloads to the backend server. Let's say if it is an invalid JSON, then you want to send the request to the backend and get the response. Let's see how to validate JSON payloads and do simple check that a valid JSON payload or not using message validation policy in Apache Edge. I'm not into Apache Edge as an Oracle administrator. We're going to create a simple API proxy to demonstrate the JSON validation. Click on API proxies, click on plus proxy to create a new proxy and choose reverse proxy and then click on next. I'm going to name the proxy as JSON validation and change the base path as slash v1 slash mock and uh, give the existing API as simple http bin.org slash post simple echo request API click on next choose authorization as pass through click on, click on next choose defaults build and deploy once API proxy is deployed let's access the API proxy and make a simple API call so this is my proxy endpoint. So we're going to make an API call using uh, JSON as a payload. So we're going to make a post request and send the body as a JSON. So I'm going to use a simple REST client like Postman. And let's say if I sending uh, a payload with an invalid JSON, let's see what happens. As you can see, since uh, this particular uh, API is not validating any input, and it is just echoing whatever you are sending it to the backend server. Let's say now you want to validate and uh, filter out the bad payloads before it reaches to the backend server. Let's see how to do that. So I'm gonna switch back to the API proxy, click on develop, and then click on preflow. So we're gonna use a uh, SOAP message validation policy to do JSON validation. Though name looks a little misleading, you can also use this policy to do JSON validation to check it's valid JSON or not. So I'm gonna change the name as uh, JSON validation. And uh, these settings doesn't matter, we're gonna remove it. Uh, for now, just choose XSD. So we don't need an XSD. So I'm gonna remove the XSD. And uh, click on the policy and then remove the element and soap message as well as the resource URL because we are not doing any XML validation. So how is it going to work? Basically, we are going to set a content type application slash JSON and we're going to ask this message validation policy to check for valid JSON. That's how it's going to work. So let's save the API proxy and uh, test it out. Uh, so you can also save it as a new revision. So if we save it as a new revision, make sure it is deployed again. Once proxy is deployed, let's uh, switch back to the trace and uh, test the API call and scan the payloads for valid JSON. Click on start trace session. So now we are going to make an API call with a bad payload. Now Apache should raise an error. Let's test that out. So I'm gonna make a send call. As you can see, JSON validation failed with reason in our red car at line two. Let's make an API call with the valid JSON. You can also see same in the trace session. As you can see, the message validation policy raises an exception saying that it's not a valid uh, JSON payload. Let's make a valid call. So I'm gonna edit the API request and then say, uh, hello world with valid JSON. Now we should uh, reach the backend and we should get 200. Let's make an API call. There you go. We got 200 okay response and we can able to validate same in Apache also. Yeah, the message validation policy did not raise an exception. So that's how we can able to validate the incoming payloads for valid JSON in Apache Edge using message validation policy. If you would like to do any schema validations for JSON, then you can leverage third party libraries. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment.apache.com. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to YouTube channel and share these videos with your friends and colleagues.